Hey guys, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can write the Python dictionary comprehension. So that's one of the interesting topic because in, in our previous video, we have seen the for loop and the other things. And uh, we saw that how we can iterate over the dictionary with the help of a for loop. Now with the help of Python dictionary comprehension, you can do all of that processing with a single statement all right so let's see how we can do that so first of all let me create uh, one uh, one simple list or maybe a dictionary from the list comprehension so i will write simple underscore dict is equals to and to create a dictionary we you we open and close the curly brackets and then please pay attention to the syntax so x colon so here x is key and colon is a notation which you usually see in the uh, dictionary key value pair and here i am writing again x it can be y also but for now i am writing x and you will see in the output that uh, how it is uh, reflecting to you so both key and value is same in this case so x colon x and then you will write for x in range 1 to 10 so what we are basically saying that this is the key value and this x is in range 1 to 10 and then this x is going back and assigning value to here all right if i execute this simple underscore dictionary you will see it's a very simple dictionary where 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3, 4 is 4, right? Let's say we want to take a power of each of the value. So maybe 2 to the power 2 is 4, 9 and then 16, 25 and all. Then also very easily you can do that with the help of the expressions that we can specify over here. 2, right? So what we are making is it's to the power 2 for each of these value. So if I go and again execute this, so this is 4, this is 9, this is 16 because 4 into 4 is 16, similarly 5 into 5, 25, 36, 49. So this is basically the power of list comprehension, this Python dictionary comprehension because you can then do all of these different types of processing within the one single line now since it is powerful sometimes it is confusing as well for other developers or maybe the new developers so use it cautiously but uh, once you become more and more experienced you try to use comprehension instead of writing you know that structured for loops and everything because it gives you the power to do pretty much a uh, lot of uh, processing within the one single line one last thing i will show you is the if statement that we used so what i will do is even underscore number is equals to x colon x for x in range 1 to 10 right it's very similar to our first statement where we did not have this power so now after we have specified it we can write if x percentage 2 equals to equals to 0 that means if the remainder when you divide any value right by 2 so 1 divided by 2 equals to equals to 0 no so that value will not be counted but 2 divided by 2 equals to equals the remainder will be 0 yes so 2 will come similarly 4 will come 6 will come 8 will come because they will not be leaving any remainder and that will calculate our even value so if i execute that and even underscore num if i write it what you get is the 2 4 6 and 8 so now with this i will stop here and uh, you can do an exercise of identifying the um, odd numbers just a slight change in this comprehension uh, dictionary comprehension statement and you can get the odd number as well think about it